I had a couple of defensive backs that jumped out to me, whether it was because of injury, whether it was because of improvement over the course of the year, um, whether it was just situation that they're in. Uh, Asante Samuel Jr. in uh, in LA, I thought, you know, he had the concussions early on in the season, but when he was on the field in a, an offense, which kind of outside a defense, sorry, outside of kind of Derwin James, maybe has struggled to get production, even from guys with name brand value. I really liked what I saw. I think that I want to see, obviously, consistency. Concussions are always worrying when they're more than one in a season and you start to think whether a guy is going to have long-term problems in that area. But he was a guy who jumped out to me as somebody I, I was keen on for this year. Uh, and the other one on the kind of other side, um, situationally, New Orleans with the Saints, Paulson Adebo, who was bad early in the year but had a rally late in the year and they've just improved so much with bringing in Marcus May and Tyron Matthew on the back end, you know, being alongside Marshall and Lattimore for another year, having a change of, you know, staffing there and everything. I, I think that there's a couple of guys who second year guys have got real opportunities to look really good this year. The Saints one worries me. That defensive backfield doesn't make any sense how it all fits together as a jigsaw. It's an awful lot of names. It is almost like a fantasy lineup when you start going, well, how... Where's Marcus May going to line up on the field? Because he's basically a sub-package linebacker. He's not really a safety, right? Okay, well, where does Tyron Matthew want to play? Well, he's basically a sub-package linebacker. Okay, who's standing deep in the defensive backfield? Oh, we lost Marcus Williams, who's the best middle-of-the-field safety in the NFL. And everyone's looking at each other like, oh, shit, yeah, we lost Marcus Williams. Who's lining up where? And that means they're going to have to play someone who is not as good as those players just because they cannot play in that specific role. Even if they're trying to play a bunch of split field coverage like the entire league does, Marcus May cannot play in that role in the NFL anymore. That's just not who he is. He's basically a weak side linebacker in a tiny little body. I don't know how they make that fit. I also don't know how they make fit the fact that Dennis Allen is a guy who lines up. This is what we're running. We're going to change week to week. We're playing two man this week against Tom Brady. Everyone knows their assignments. We just rep it all week and off we go. With Tyron Matthew, whose entire you know, excellence and genius is he rolls all over the place and you can get really creative of where you start him to where you finish him, you know, basically in terms of his defensive landmark. Again, threading that needle, that's a tough one. I don't know how they're going to make all that that fit outside of just having Mark Slattermore elevating back into being one of the five best corners in the game. And he was pretty good last year after a down year the year before. So I'm not sure about that one. Um, the Asante Samuel Jr. one, I'm very encouraged by and excited by. I think then bringing JC Jackson is is a game changer for him because they run they ran a ton of zone last year, which I don't think Brandon Staley really wants to do long term. And I think Asante Samuel Jr. is much better as just a straight up press man. Let me get on with who's in front of me and I'll figure the rest out later. Don't have me hitting depth and reading things and having to do pattern reading and all the really difficult stuff that is defensive backfield stuff. I think they prefer saying everyone jammed the line of scrimmage, do and we'll figure the rest out. Don't worry about it. Do and Nasir Adderley, unbelievable safety combination. They can pick everything else up. You guys just body up who's in front of you and chase them all over the field. And bringing JC Jackson is what will allow them to do that because you can't do it without a great one. I'm not sure Sante Samuel Jr. will necessarily be a great one, but as a two, that, that that's pretty tasty next to JC Jackson.